This is a Game Caviar production. All right, Caviars and Caviettes, look at what I'm playing. I got me a new game that I found online today. This is called uh, Arctic Combat. I don't know exactly where they got that name from. Now, in this match, we are playing in a snow-covered environment, but that's not really... This is just one map. They have many other maps, and this is the only one that's really Arctic in nature. Now... The special thing about this game is that it is a free-to-play game. It's in its beta stage right now, and I had to jump through a little bit of hoops to get a beta key just so I can play it. And all you do is go to the website, click on it, and you download the game, and you're good to go from there. I'm playing a match right here with bots. These aren't humans. I do. Uh, they do offer matches with bots, but... I believe if it's less than four or eight humans, then they don't count the stats for that match. But that's the least of the problems with this game. This game takes things from Call of Duty, Counter-Strike, and Combat Arms. Now, I know that you've played uh, Call of Duty, of course, and some of you have played Counter-Strike, especially with the new Counter-Strike coming out. How many of you have played Combat Arms? I don't know. Maybe some have. Maybe some haven't. Combat Arms is another one of those free-to-play games. You can download it off of Steam. And from what I've, from what I understand, Combat Arms started off really good, but there were a bunch of hackers, and from then on, it went downhill. This game is basically the same thing. Uh, it's just an beta testing and already I ran into a bunch of hackers playing this game. Also, you can also, uh, well not also, you can also, but you can also see the influence of Call of Duty in this game. Not by the design, but by the people playing it. They were campers, uh, drop shotters, and they were, uh, they were, uh, in my second match that I played, I was just put into a spawn trap. So, it seems like all the douchebag players from Call of Duty decided to come and play this game as well now if only they could stay playing this game and leave call of duty alone it would be a lot better that's probably not gonna happen anyway the game looks beautiful i like the graphics on it for it to be a free-to-play game and just something that you just download off the internet really quick it looks really good it has a really good setup the uh the interface is easy to learn the controls are customizable you can make them into whatever you want it to do which is good uh, they don't have any silly kill streaks or anything like that. Uh, none that I knew of. There were, there is a lot of guns, and what you do is the points that it's kind of like uh, Black Ops. The points that you get during the game, you can use to buy weapons. I don't know whether the weapons in this game are uh, you only like have them for a little while, like in Combat Arms. But I will say that. Um, I bought the what is it? I bought the MP5K, and I don't. This isn't it, but uh, I don't have the. I didn't see any time limit on it, so um, I'm just gonna have a good time with this game. I now I don't really have any sort of uh, bad things to say about it besides the hacking, which is a huge thing. Be honest with you. And for it to be in its beta stage, hopefully the, the people who make this game get their crap together and actually implement some sort of system to get the hackers out of the game so that when the game is released, you won't have to worry about it. The beta has been going on for about a week already. I'm kind of late to getting into it. But uh, and it, it's going to last until the first week of September, I believe. So if you can... Go to Google, type in uh, Arctic Combat, and you will uh, be taken to the website where you can download the game for free. And all you have to do, basically, what I had to do is I had to sign up for another website. That website had beta keys, and then I implemented the beta key and got into the game. It's really straightforward and to the point. Uh, I will go ahead and do you guys a favor and put the link to the website for the game in the description. If I don't do it, remind me because I might forget. Uh, but let me know if you played this game or if you think that this is a game that you would like to play in the future. Uh, like I said, without the hackers, this game is amazing. But let me know what you think. 
Like, comment, subscribe, spread the word. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studio, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.